Uh, we are so excited to have Robert Rose, the, the host and founder of Raw Travel TV with us today for their, our 2024 Travel Goods show pre-recording um, today. So Robert, welcome. So good to have you here. Thanks for having me, Josh. Yeah. Uh, you've been in the travel industry for quite some time. You've done some amazing things. Give us a little bit of background about who you are and your experience and what you do uh, in the travel industry. Yeah, so I was in the TV business before I got hardcore into travel, but I actually got into travel because of the stress of having my own TV company. And I uh, fell in love with travel at that point. And, um, you know, was traveling abroad and living abroad in Columbia, South America um, around 2010 and just came up with the idea of doing raw travel as an authentic travel show and to kind of fill the void of what I didn't see on television, which was travel that wasn't focused on luxury travel necessarily, but travel for everybody. That uh, It was attainable travel, not fantasy travel. You've become somewhat of a, a, of a personality in this space. You've got a TV show and that's, that's broadcasted all over the country, all over the world, really. Tell us about the reach and what you've been able to accomplish in, in the field of broadcast television and, and raw travel TV. Well, when I first started, my my uh, goals were really small. It's just like, don't embarrass yourself too much. That was the goal. And um, I can't t- say whether I, I did that or not. I'm not sure. But we grew from 70 TV stations in our first year, which exceeded my expectations, frankly, uh, to where we're now in 185 TV stations across the country. It's about 97% of the U.S. You can find us on old school ABC, NBC, CBS affiliates on the weekends. Um, you have to check your local listings and then internationally, you know, it's gotten into some territories. It's on some airlines, a few cruise ships. It's in, um, I think mostly Europe and a little bit of Asia. And it's just been a very, you know, surprising and fulfilling thing that if you just really stick to what you know and what you love, uh, there'll be an audience for it. And it's been, uh, you know, by far the most amazing journey in my life. Give us a quick, uh, synopsis summary elevator pitch of what the show's about and and really what you focus in on on these uh shows well i would say the word authentic uh before it was kind of overused was the word that we wanted to be which was you know not overly produced kind of showing the reality of travel that includes when travel goes wrong um and just so that people don't have these outsized expectations and get disappointed when they could travel somewhere they need to understand wherever you go there you are there are problems, but what travel teaches you is how to overcome those problems and maybe to see things in a broader uh, and better perspective. And so we wanted to focus on that ecotourism, giving back, volunteerism, travel with a purpose, getting to know the locals, uh, not just doing the touristy stuff and enclosing yourself off in a bubble and, and basically kind of seeing travel through an almost spiritual lens of like how it makes you a better person. Tell us about some of the, the observations in the travel goods that you use and perhaps some of the trends that you've seen in the course of your, your journey in traveling. I mean, I love it because travel is, like you said, can be very tough. And I try to remember that back in the days of Mark Twain, um, you know, when he was traveling abroad or, or Teddy Roosevelt, how much more difficult it was, you know. But uh, basically, comfort doesn't even e- doesn't equal happiness, but I'd sure like to be comfortable if I can. So, you know, everything from, uh, you know, like a white noise app or something to help me sleep uh, to a GPS thing to help you in case you lose your luggage to kind of deal with those ups and downs of travels. Those are things that help, uh, you know, a solar powered charger for when you're out and and somewhere and you're not near power or the power goes out. Uh, A water filtration system if you're in a place where the water is not potable and you don't want to just buy lots of plastic bottles of water. Um, There's just been an amazing uh, progression as as I've been in the business for about 11 seasons now of things that make travel so much easier. And I'm, and I'm thankful for it. And I've tried a lot of things. Some don't work, but I'll try everything once. And if it works, it, it, it goes into my luggage every time. You're going to be at the 2024 Travel Goods Show. T- tell us about that, your involvement and where we can expect to see you. Well, it's my first time there, so I don't know what to expect, which is great. That's what I like when I'm filming. I like to go somewhere and not be to uh, have too many expectations. So that's number one. Number two, what I'm expecting is to be uh, around some innovative companies that are doing things to help um, basically alleviate some of those challenges that we did talk about 
when travel goes wrong. I mean, I do episodes called when travel goes wrong. I've done three of them. I wish I could have only done one, but I had so much content from everything from getting sick abroad to being abandoned abroad to getting almost robbed abroad, all these things that, you know, you think about. And I originally didn't want to do it because, you know, I was like, I don't want to tell people not to travel and, and scare them away. But I think when you go somewhere like the Travel Goods Association, you're looking for tips to help people uh, to be encouraged to travel. You're like, hey, if you're worried about the language difference, of course, you've got Google Translate. You've got Translate apps now that are really incredible. If you're worried about your lost luggage, you can track it this way uh, or just do carry on. Here's a smarter way to pack. I'm looking forward to some innovative things to help me personally in my travel. And then I can use that to tell my viewers and advise them as well, because I won't advise them unless I feel it myself. The Travel Goods Show really is to connect brands with with travel industry professionals and retailers and content creators. So, it, you know, travel, it really touches one in 10 jobs, occupations worldwide. And we have a responsibility, as, as I know you do, and you take it very seriously, um, to help uh, educate, enlighten people, help them in their journey to really find what they're looking for, whatever it is in, in their journey. Um, tell me about the importance of collaboration in your experience, maybe that you've seen and um, not, and, and I, I know through previous conversations that you just don't open the, the, the idea for everybody to collaborate with you because you're very selective on your brand and representing other manufacturers. So tell me about what we can expect for brands looking for future collaborations with content creators. Yeah, I think just a, a good fit when you see someone that, you know, has a messaging and, and carries the same corporate or company values that you uh, also uh, endorse, those are really good. Um, I think just having two people that kind of see eye to eye on communication and how to get things done and what are the goals and the objectives, uh, it always helps me because I've worked in marketing most of my life, even though I was in TV, the TV part of it. Uh, is for the client to basically just be as transparent and as clear with me as possible what they're hoping to get out of it. Because I don't want to oversell something and under deliver. What I'd much rather do is undersell something and over deliver. And so depending on, you know, what the gear is and, and things, the reason I don't do a lot is because, you know, I don't want someone to go to great trouble and expense and we're going to great trouble and expense and then it doesn't work. I want it to work for everybody. It's got to be a win, win, win. And that includes the audience. It can't just be, uh, you know, the, the goods manufacturer wins. I win, but the audience loses. Everybody's got to win. And uh, when you get that, it's a beautiful thing. I'd love to hear your perspective about the, the trends happening in the travel industry, specifically with a growing uh, amount of content creators out there in travel. Uh, we, we've gone through a, a cycle, I think, of retail locations, which still it has the number one buying, you know, uh, that, that's where most people get their products is through a, a brick and mortar uh, retail location. E-commerce platforms are critical. Now we've got content creators on social media. Tell me about the trends that you've been able to see um, when it comes to, to purchasing and influence in the travel travel space. Well, I think, you know, I was kind of an open book when I started producing travel shows, you know, 11, 12 years ago, because I didn't know much about the travel industry. So I had to backtrack and kind of look at it from a marketing and television perspective. And I saw that there was really a need uh, to to really target, you know, uh, intelligently, because it seemed like this really broad kind of thing. And travelers are a unique brand of folks, man. They're really... Um, I think uh, they're smart. They know what they're looking for. And I found that viewers with our show, for example, they're the kind of people I want to hang out with. And I think that's fantastic because I've seen them, I've met them, and I'm like, rarely have I met someone who's like, oh, man, how is that jerk watching my show? You know, now I might see some comments on social media, but that's a different ball game. You know, social media is social media. But in person, when people recognize me, whether on the street or an airport or on location, um, they're always a person that I really want to hang out with. And I think that is important because, you know, if I say, hey, man, this this really helped me out in this situation, um, I take that as a serious trust and I don't want to breach that trust. And so those are the kinds of things that I think um, I latched onto really quickly was just stay away from brands that you don't yourself are going to use, that you couldn't 100 percent stand behind. And so I say, hey, man, you said this product was good and this is what happened or it didn't work for me or that was a waste of money. That's what I don't want. What are the top five items that Robert and his travel must have uh, when you travel? 
Yeah, and it may be what most people have. I mean, what's new is like a GPS tracker for your luggage. Matter a few lost luggage instances, they're in all my luggage now. That you know, some kind of tracking device. The Translate app, game changer. That's huge, man. You can go places like you're not going to have in depth philosophical, political conversations, and that might be a good thing. So you can just have basic information, basic conversations, but it opens up the world, man. You're not flipping through a phrase book. I like a white noise app because I'm kind of a light sleeper and I've gotten used to a white noise and I even do that at home, but it helps me sleep on the go, on planes, you know, sleep when you can, where you can, get adjusted to jet lag. Along with that, a sleep mask. Uh, of course, I have an iPhone. I know other people may have, you know, other iOS phones and things like that. That's fine, but you need that. You really That has really been a game changer because of all the apps that you can download to help you with travel plans. When things don't go right, you can now do stuff online. And, and that is a huge game changer. And of course, you know, electrical outlet converters and chargers and things like that. You know, I don't want to give away everything that you'll be talking about at the Travel Goods Show. But is there anything else that you want to impart uh, before we conclude here? Travel related wisdom, something that you've learned, observed on the road that, that you can impart as kind of a sneak peek, a prelude to what we'll see at the 2024 Travel Goods Show. Well, I kind of already said it, uh, you know, but uh, basically comfort does not equal happiness. I've been so happy on a chicken bus in the middle of uh, sitting on the floor in the middle of uh, Guatemala or somewhere than, you know, being in New York with all the, you know, plush surroundings of a first world country. But that said, I'd rather be comfortable than not, uh, generally speaking. So when I am traveling, anything that's innovative that can help uh, connect with people, you know, like a Translate app. Uh, or help you, you know, be more confident in your travels and less worrisome, like a, an app that helps you convert the cash uh, or things that help you pay, you know, so you don't have to carry as much cash around. So you can just use the, you know, the wallet, you know, and, and things that are safety and security that will take the focus of, uh, of basically these basic needs that you have when you travel so that you can uh, basically enjoy the travel ahead of you and really connect with people. Um, and I think that, that is what I'm going to be looking for. Innovation that helps me travel in a way that's going to allow my travels to go to the next level. Perfect. No Robert, pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Right. It, it's been a pleasure. Uh, you, you have so, so much influence in, in this industry, a lot of viewerships, a lot of people wanting to just rub shoulders with you. And I look forward to doing that myself at the upcoming show. Where are your travels taking you next? It's either Argentina, Costa Rica, or somewhere in Mexico, possibly Mexico City or uh, Oaxaca, somewhere like that. Uh, I haven't nailed it down exactly yet. I just know I won't be in New York City in February. So <laughs> snow all you want, man. I will not be here. <laughs> Uh, I love that. Well, we look forward to seeing you in March. Um, how, how can people find you? Where, where can they find you um, either before or after the show? Yeah, on social media, you know, you can go to at Raw Travel TV or you can go to rawtravel.tv. Fair warning, the website has been up for 11 years without uh, a major overhaul. So we're doing that this year. Uh, but you'll see it. You'll see what we're about. And you can see some videos. And um uh, yeah, man, just look for me. And I always tell people, uh, if you see something, say something. So if you see me, don't just look at me and stare because I'm like, that's weird. Why is this guy looking at me? Say hello. Say hello or, or you look familiar or whatever because uh, I love talking to viewers. I love talking to people in the travel industry. I'm a talker, man. I'm a people person. I'm grumpy sometimes, but not in person. I'm a really, really people person. And I think that's why I love travel, because you're out there mixing with folks. Well, it's a pleasure, Rob, and we will uh, see you in a few months. I Safe can't wait, travel. man. It's going to be fun. Yeah, Thank you, fun. guys. Thank awesome. You. Take care. We'll talk soon.